um, got an unboxing here today. And if you're a Beyblade fan, you probably recognize this type of packaging. I just ordered a Beyblade from uh, Hong Kong. And I believe this is my Omega Drago. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it looks like I got my Capricorn here. Pre-hybrid wheel. And this was from... Let's see, who was this from? E-Human Life. Um, they're a very great seller. And they have just probably some of the best prices I've ever seen for Beyblade. Um, yeah, so check them out. If you want to get some of the stuff I'll be showing. And... So here's Capricorn. It's a booster pack. All this stuff from eHuman Life, to my knowledge, is from Mani, as that is the toy store in Hong Kong. And let's take a look at the packaging. It's quite pleasing. That's enough to of the eye. packaging. We don't want to see that. We came here for the Beyblade, right? So, luckily for me, oh, focus the camera there. Um, lucky for me. Takara Tomi has graced us with collector-friendly packaging where um, you can just undo all this tape here and slide it open instead of ripping apart uh, the box. And if you're used to the all the Hasbro releases, it can be a little tricky to preserve the, the packaging for those because they don't really think about that, which is understandable. But, I like to keep these just because I'm a nerd. Slide this out. Come on. Oh, there's one more piece of tape I gotta do. Alright, I got it. There we go. This feels like I got a tool in there. Pop out the Beyblade. And I guess I'll cut to a close-up shot of all the parts. Alright, so with everything out of the packaging, you can see you get instructions in Japanese. We won't be needing that. You got the main star of this, the metal wheel. Really love the paint apps on this. It's really nice. And if you're familiar with Hasbro Beyblades in the, the Legend series, this is very reminiscent of the Fury wheel. But of course, with this being the source material for that. But uh, it might be a better version, as with is, is the case with um, Torch and um, the Ares wheel. Um, I find that the Ares wheel is better than Torch, even though it's pretty much the same thing. But I don't know. Um, got the face bolt. It's nice and printed. Which is kind of funny, because <clears throat> this is like the first Metal Fight Beyblades series, yet they have the printing. And then when they moved on to uh, the Hybrid Wheel series, they, they didn't have any printed faces anymore. They started doing stickers. But they did some printed face bolts here and there. Which, I mean, whatever. And, uh, yeah, starting to assemble this. The easy four-piece. And there we go. I'll cut to when I have the stickers on. And there we have it with the stickers on. Didn't want to waste too much camera time with the process of that. Um, anyway, this is a really nice looking Beyblade. Like, even... It's a nice parts pack, but... I always keep my pre-hybrid wheel system Beyblades together just because... I don't know, I think they're really concise in their design. And they're just a good collector's item, I think. And anyway, let's do some test battles. Okay, so I got Virgo and Bull. Now for this battle, we're just going to be using light launchers, the original launcher for these. And we're only using, we're only battling this with um, other pre highwood wheel Beyblades because it's just kind of unfair if I use any of my other ones. Anyway, let's start. 3, 2, 1. A lot of hard hits early on, that's pretty cool. And unfortunately, this metal wheel for Capricorn doesn't have enough power to end the battle with Virgo. 
really expected more with the 9v track but I guess that's what customizing is for okay now we got bull versus Capricorn let's do this now this should be a little more interesting with the uh, bulls setup right now I don't know, it could end in a sleep out, or it couldn't, since Bull isn't that high in stamina. It's a little better than Capricorn, but... Hmm. Probably should have done a sliding shoot. That's okay. Oh! Ah, you see, there you go. Yeah, this... This wheel on bull isn't that great. At least for stamina and defense. For attack, it's awesome. Like, combine that with an 85 and a, I don't know, an RF. Man, this is, this is a really good part. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope to see you next unboxing, because I have some more coming up.